In this video tutorial, we will learn how we can fine-tune LAMA2 model by generating data from OpenAI GPT-4 model. So here is the complete architecture. So let's see how we are implementing this project. So we will divide this complete project into eight different parts. So we will start with the data set generation. So first of all, we will generate data. So on this data, I will be fine-tuning my LAMA2 model. So I'm using OpenAI GPT-4 model, I will be generating the data so the step number one is to generate data so we will be generating data using openai gpt4 model so generating data which will be used to train a large language model considering the input prompt provided by the user so how we will generate the data so to generate the data using gpt4 model we will provide a prompt like uh, please generate a data that converts a text from english to french okay so in this way, we will provide a prompt on the based, uh, based on that prompt, we will generate the uh, data. Then in the next step, number two, we will generate a system uh, message. So the prompt uh, we provide uh, to generate the data using that prompt, we will generate a system message. So that system message will be used for inference. That system message will not be used for the data generation. The system message will be used for the inference. So the using the input prompt uh, that the user provides, we will be generating a system message that will be used for the inference only. So if you have any question about system message, we will discuss in the, uh, as we go towards the code, prompt, uh, code part. So using the input, input prompt, we will be generating a system message that will be used for inference only. So if you uh, know in the Llama 2, we have a uh, default system prompt and the input prompt. Uh, so this, uh, this is basically the system message, the default system prompt. Uh, that we pass to the Lama 2 model. So now uh, here in the step number one, we have generated the data. So now we will just convert the generated data into a data frame. So we have the data. So now we just convert into a pandas data frame. So we will just convert the generated data into pandas data frame and split into training and testing set. So we'll use 90% of the data for the training purpose and 10% of the data for the testing purpose. So after splitting the data and converting the data into data frame, Pandas data frame and splitting into training and testing set. Uh, in the next step, I will just load the data set and fine tune my Lama 2 model, or you can say I will train or fine tune the Lama 2 model. So after fine tuning the Lama 2 model, we will first run a uh, test on the original Lama 2 model. We will not run test on the fine tuned Lama 2 model. So we'll just check if our Lama 2 original Lama 2 works fine. Then in the step number six, we will merge the model. So we will just merge the fine tune model and store the weights in the Google Drive, okay? So we'll just store the model weights in the Google Drive. Then in the next step, I will load the fine tune model from the drive and run the testing on it. We can also push the fine tune model to the Hugging Face Hub and uh, then just can assess the model through API and run inference on that model. So this is a complete architecture diagram. So let's move towards the code part. Okay, so here you can see that um, I'm just connecting over here. So this might take two seconds. Okay. So that's the perfect. So I've already run this complete script. I will not uh, run, I will not start to run it again. So I will just give you a quick overview of how you can implement it on your side. Because if I just start running the script, it will take quite some time. So in this project, we will fine tune Lama 2 by generating data from the large language model. So if I just write over here, uh, from the open AI. Okay, so in this project, we will fine tune Lama 2 by generating data from the open AI large language model. The complete project is divided into multiple steps. In the step number one, we will look towards a data generation. In the step number two, we will uh, see how we can generate a system message. And then in the step number three, we will see how we can convert the generated data into data frame and split into training and testing set. In the step number four, we will see how we can load the data sets and train or fine tune our Lama 2 model. Okay, train, fine, your Lama model. Okay, then I will run inference uh, on the original Lama 2 model. Okay. Then I will merge the model and store the weights in Google Drive and then I will load the fine tune model from Drive and run inference, okay? We will also see 
how we can push modern to hub and run inference okay so this is that these are the eight parts which we will cover or these are the eight points which we will cover in this video tutorial so now we'll see how we can find you on llama 2 so i am just using free google collab so if you just see it comes with 15 gp graphics card okay the free google collab type the free google collab type offers 15 gp graphic card so if you have a paid subscription of google collab uh, it offers 40 gp graphic cards but i have a free subscription of google collab so it offered 15 gp graphic card so, okay so you can see that i'm not subscribed so if you want to get the paid subscription you can also get it so 15 gp graphic card is a bit uh, barely enough to store our llama 2's uh, model with 7 billion parameters weight but uh, plus also when you fine tune the llama 2 model on any data set we need to consider the uh, overhead due to optimizer weights optimizer states gradient and forward activation plus uh, full fine tuning of the model is not possible in the google collab so therefore we need parameter efficient fine tuning techniques like lora and two lora so that we can fine tune our llama 2 model so so uh, it's clear that uh, Google Colab resources are not enough that we can fine tune our Lava 2 model. So we need to apply parameter efficient fine tuning techniques like LoRa and QLoRa so that we can fine tune our Lava 2 model. So to which uh, if you apply parameter efficient fine tuning techniques, it uh, drastically reduces the VRAM usage. Plus uh, we will fine tune the model in four bit precision which is why we are using QLora over here. So in this step, I will just install all the required packages, which you can see over here. And then I will just import all the required libraries, which you can see over here. And here I'm just passing my open AI API key, which you can see over here as well. Okay. And then you uh, now I'm just generating a data set. So here you can see I've set that a bridge value 0 0.4 and the number of examples 16. So what is the temperature value? So the temperature value varies between 0 and 1. Uh, so the temperature values uh, we do temperature value we pass the temperature value when we are generating the data so if the temperature value is low uh, so temperature value if you just complete uh, keep the temperature value as zero uh, so it will be very good for the size stocks like if you are generating code uh, using open AI model so it is good like to keep the temperature value low but if you are uh, just doing some creative tasks like writing stories so it is better that you keep the temperature value high like 0 0.8 or 1 so here i am just choosing how many examples to generate i have just generated 16 examples but you must gen uh, generate at least 100 examples uh, to start up okay so here you can see i'm just passing uh here if you just see over here uh here i'm just passing the prompt over here so the prompt is a mock model that takes in puzzle like reasoning heavy question in english and respond with a well reasoned step by step throughout response in spanish okay so we want to generate a data that takes input as a uh, in english and generates a response in spanish language okay so we want to generate a data that takes input in english language and generate a response in spanish language okay so here i am just passing the system you are generating data which will be used to train a machine learning model you will be given uh, a one minute okay so just a minute you will be given a high level description of the model which uh, of the model we want to train and from there uh Uh, from that you will generate data samples each with a prompt response like this okay so each with a pr prompt response this will be the format okay so i am just passing the format over here okay and if you just see over here uh for each turn make the example slightly more complex like after in each step uh just make the example like more concept uh more complex while ensuring diversity make sure So, and complex enough to train a well common model. Here is the type of model which we want to train. So, this is the complete prompt which we are passing in the input. And uh, let me just copy this. I think uh, we have not gone through it in what way. Okay, so this is the in prompt I'm just passing. You are generating data which will be used 
to train a machine learning model. You will be given a high level description of the model we want to train. So here you can see I'm just passing the high level description of the model I want to train like uh, takes a text in English and convert into into Spanish. Okay. Okay, so you will be uh, you will generate data samples. Uh, you will give a high level description of the model we want to train, and from that we will generate data samples, each with a prompt response pair pair. You will do this in this format. First, we have the prompt, and then we have the response. Only one prompt a response pair should be generated per turn. For each turn, makes the example slightly more complex than the last while ensuring diversity. Uh, should make sure that samples are unique and diverse yet high quality and complex enough to train a well-performing model. Here is the type of model we want to train. So here I'm just passing this prompt over here in the last over here. Okay. So this is how it basically works. Okay. So I'm just passing this prompt over here. Okay. So here I'm just generating a system message over here. So you can see that this is a system message given a puzzle like having reasoning question in English. You will respond with a well answer step by step throughout response in Spanish. Okay. So now here is the system message. I've just added a system message over here. You can just remove this. So now here I'm just generating the data over here. Okay. So now you can see here we have generated the data and uh, okay. So now you can see over here. We have the complete data set over here. We have the prompt and response and we have the pandas data frame. So here we have the if a car travels at speed of 60 miles per hour and here we have the response in the Spanish. Okay. And here we have a prompt in English and here we have the response in Spanish. Here we have a prompt in English and we have a response in Spanish. Here we also have a prompt in English. Here we have a response in Spanish over here as well. And the length of this data frame is 16 which we have uh, set. So now here we are just splitting our data into training and test set. We are taking 90% of data for the training and only 10% of the data for the testing purpose. And now we are just converting our data frame into JSON files over here as well. And here is the name of our training JSON file and here is the name of our test JSON file. So here is our Lava2 chat model. So here is our train data set and here is our fine tune model name. So here we are just fine tuning the Lama2 model and here we are just applying parameter efficient fine tuning so that we can fine tune Lama2 model and here we are using QLoRa as the parameter efficient fine tuning technique to fine tune the Lama2 model. Okay. So here I've just set the other parameters over here as well and here you can see that I'm just downloading the Lama2 model and here I'm just uh, training my Lama2, or fine tuning my Lama2 on the data set which we have generated for only one epoch. Okay, so you can see here I have just set the number of epochs as one just for this example. But if you want to train, just make sure to uh, to uh, fine tune it at least for 10 epochs. So you can see that uh, if I just show you, I have just set the number of epochs to one. So you can see over here we have set the number of epochs is equal to one okay so here we have just uh, fine tuned the lama 2 model for one epoch for this example so now we i'm just running inference or testing on the original lama 2 model and here we have the response uh now we will just uh, merge the fine tune lama 2 model and store the model where it's in the drive okay so here I've just uh, merged the point view model and stored the model in that drive. Over here you can see, uh, you can just uh, connect your drive with a Google Colab notebook and store the weights or the mod fine tune model in drive. Okay, so now I will just load the fine tune model from the drive and run inference on it and see what is two plus two. So I, I will be, um, my desire is to uh, get the response in Spanish. Okay, so now uh, you can also push the fine tune model to Hugging Face Hub and uh, then you, I will just call the model or, or API and I will just run inference on that model. So now here you can see I'm just pushing the model, uh, fine tune model to the Lama2 fine tune model to the Hugging Face Hub. Okay. So you can let me just show you. So here you can see that I have just pushed the Lama2 uh, fine tune model to the Hugging Face Hub. You can see that here I've just have the bin file over here and uh, JSON files over here as well. Okay. So now if you just want to test the fine tune model, so you can see over here, I'm just 
assessing the fine tune model from the hugging face up and here i'm just passing the prompt and here i'm just testing the model so that it can generate the response in spanish okay so in this way we will implement this i hope you have learned something from this tutorial that uh, the notebook files are provided in the description of the video do check let me know if you have any questions